What's going on, everyone? So I want to talk about Assassin's Creed because I am a bit concerned about the future of Assassin's Creed. It's no secret that over the last five or six years or so, Ubisoft have decided to make Assassin's Creed a bit different than what the original vision of Assassin's Creed was supposed to be. And they've strayed away from the stealth element. It's pretty obvious that the, the last great, well, I won't say great, but the last good Assassin's game was probably origin and i think we all can agree that by how the stuff and i don't even want to really get started with odyssey i don't want to i don't want to start a riot or anything but <clears throat> these next three years of assassin's creed is going to be very very concerning because of oversaturation i'm going to show you this <clears throat> assassin's creed has at least six projects in the works over these next three years, from 2023 to 2026. So, <clears throat> and five of them are video games, with Mirage coming out this year. I'm not gonna touch on Mirage in this video, but there's five, there's five projects that are video games that are coming out in the next, within this next three years. I personally think that is way too much, and we have evidence that it's way too much because they did this years ago. If you remember, if you you know, if you're old enough to have played Assassin's Creed back in 2010 to 2014, those four years, really from 2010 to 2015, those five years from Brotherhood to Syndicate was some of the most saturized time for Assassin's Creed. Because they were popping them out every single year. You had the interest of the community wane. So let me let me also show you this chart because I think it's very important. This is the interest of Assassin's Creed. Now I have Assassin's Creed, the five games, Brotherhood, uh, three, uh, Revelations, three, and what's the green one? Black Flags and uh, Unity. I couldn't put Syndicate in here because Google only lets you get, lets you put in five. But these are the top five Assassin's Creed between the years of 2010 and 2015. And if you if you look at this chart, every November to December, you could see that after Revelation, which is the one in the red, I can get it on there. Come on. There you go. After Revelation, you can see that it's the interest starts to wane and it starts to drop heavily heavily black flags as even though black flags is touted as a great game and i think it is the interest not a lot of people were looking for it and then we get to we get to unity and it's basically in the toilet same around where around where black flags is around 40. and and Year upon year, the games not only lost interest, but the games also lost a lot of its quality. Because every single year, the game got more buggy and more glitched out. Year over year, the game uh, story got less and less interest. And, and we already know about the modern day. I don't even want to talk about that. That was horrible. After Revelation, modern day went. So <clears throat> the only difference between now and then is back then we had more games they were pushing out. We had the Far Cry franchise. We had Watch Dogs franchise. We had Prince of Persia franchise still back then. And Splinter Cell. We had all of those iconic franchises that Ubisoft has provided us back then. So even if we did get bored with Assassin's Creed, we had other things in Ubisoft fall back on. Now, they we don't know when the next Far Cry is coming out. We don't know if there's even going to be no Splinter Cell. Thank God. I was saying that in another video. Because they are going falls deep into Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed, they have made their flagship game. And they are putting all of their eggs into that one basket. And if that basket fails, this may be the end of Ubisoft. Because they're relying on this one game 
to try to support them for 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 the foreseeable future. And I'm very very concerned, especially after what we got from Valhalla. Mirage is supposed to be out sometime this year, and we have yet to this point seen any type of gameplay. I, I love this franchise. I've been playing this franchise since the beginning, AC One in 2007. Yeah, I'm more of the old school Assassin's Creed player, but I do like Origins. Now, Odyssey, Valhalla, different story. So I, I'm just concerned about the state of the state of this franchise, man. Because if Mirage doesn't do well, if all of these other projects that they have coming out over the next two three years, if they don't do well, then this could very well be the nail in the coffin for not only the Assassin's Creed franchise, but Ubisoft, because Ubisoft needs a win. Their games have been highly mediocre at best. And we all know that with Ubisoft, their games don't come out the most polished in the first few months of its release. So, you know, I, I'm hoping Mirage is good. I'm hoping that it's a good trend, but I, I just the way Ubisoft has been run, the way that these developers have had their their opportunities and their timelines kind of shrunk and the 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 mindset of ideas of have been stifled and the creativity has been stifled. I'm very, very concerned about the state of Assassin's Creed. But let me know in the comments what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you think that Assassin's Creed is doomed to fail if Mirage doesn't become successful? You think they're putting out too many Assassin's Creed too fast and maybe they should stretch it out a little bit. Until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.